Hey guys, how you doing? Greg Fraser here with Jing Shan Koshu. We're doing a little bit of the martial science stuff, talking about all types of martial arts, self-defense, and so on. Uh, today, what I'm talking about is your top four best long-range counter punches for a straight punch. Okay, anybody that's in there. So let me give you a little example. When I'm saying long range, I mean he's out at a point where he's going to have to take a stride to make contact with me. So. At the same time, it's very unlikely that he's going to throw a long hooping hook from that distance because if he throws a long hook, I just shoot straight down the middle, okay? So that position, this position, most likely people are coming down the middle at you, all right? Setting up their jabs or crosses and so on. When doing this, my favorite, you can use this both offensively and de defensively, and actually it's both at once, okay? So the first one we're doing is this up and over. So essentially, it's a check mark movement check mark movement okay you can do it with four hands so first one John's gonna come let's go with the jab first okay so he's coming out with the jab hand I check this one of the things I don't do is I don't push this down because when I do that I leave the opening for the next punch to come in I check mark off okay see how this is just a knuckle touch notice how I'm doing this okay I'm rotating into the center knuckle touch down shooting for through and then of course we're gonna follow with a big punch after that as he's doing this again boom quick okay for that a few times I'm just creating a space with my knuckles here to drive that line okay now we got the block check we want the big punch coming in so when he comes in boom boom I've got that sorry right, one two bop right in see that one two boom counter punch Second one, same idea, he came off here. If he comes, I'm still using my rear hand. Comes with this cross hand, okay? I can still set that in. Bring that elbow in, there it is. Pop, boom, boom, okay? I use this if I'm gonna cross a line over this way, boom, pop, and I'm coming in, okay? I may be cutting in and across to walk in on him, okay? So second one, still straight. Notice it's just knuckles, not a big push down, all right? Comes in. I bounce off it, look for that angle of jaw. Third version, same idea. I'm using my lead hand this time. So he's coming in same side. I shoot down, looking for this. Little note here, this is quick, boom, okay? You wanna throw that same side because it's hardest for him to return to protect that side, okay? So by doing this, boom, boom, all right? I've got that opening. This punch right here is not necessarily a knockout punch. What it is, is to just angle his jaw to the way I want it to go. So I'll do that again. So he comes in, boom. I sort of push the jaw. Look at the bottom angle of that jaw. That's a KO punch right there. Right here, pop, boom, bam. All right, very nice. I also have the fourth one. He's coming in with the lead hand, his jab hand. And I'm meeting it with my jab hand and shooting in, okay? So he's coming in, boom, boom. If I'm in motion, he comes in with any strike, Okay, I got these coming in. I can walk in. Okay, these up and over motions are fantastic for, boom. You get it nice and quick, okay. Boom, bop, in. See those? Okay, I could be moving backwards, so if he's charging in, okay. As long as I get that check, I can double up. Okay, I can move off, okay. These are great. As you get used to this, when he's up here, these guys hands up, I can also use these as counter motion. So a couple of things we usually do, punch gloves to the face, okay? I can throw a punch to get him to make contact right here and then up and over this way too. So I go here, see that? Take it in here, here, this type of stuff. Right, I'm gonna feed John a few of them so you see it from his end. Good. So he's just using a single. There we go. Good. Very nice. Get used to practicing protecting his jaw. Long range, you don't need to be on the side of the jaw. Boom, right here. And I can practice this. Put this off your shoulder here. John can throw a hard punch. Good, throw these. Good. Good, see that? Deliver some power. Good, up and over though. Good. 
Very nice. And he can choose whichever one he wants. Very nice. If I leave my hands out, he can just up and over my hand. There we go. Leave the hand out. Boom. Good. Very nice. Okay. So this is your first principle. We have a series of these. We'll bring you the close range or closing up and over. All right. Which is a spring sort of motion, but very devastating. And it's counter striking. Every time they punch, they get hit. Please give us any comments that you guys have. We like constructive feedback. Even the trolls are fine calling. Hopefully we can get you to come over to our side. But we'll bring you martial science. We'll bring you the reasons, the whys, the answers that you haven't been given. So stay tuned.